So here now at the Miami Auto Show with Matt Davis from Fiat and uh, like, uh, two on bills here uh, for Miami, not specifically for Miami, for like for the whole country, right? Like new versions of the 500 and 500L. Yeah, no, this is an opportunity for us to do one more time what we've been trying to do, which is just expand the lineup with different uh, product offerings um, on the 500 and 500L lineup. The, the one we revealed today on the 500 is one of many, but the 500L is the first one that we've actually uh, did a buzz model off of the 500L platform. So uh, pretty amazing to think about that uh, Fiat just came uh, back to the States after, what, 26, 27 years absence in 2010. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of progress in just four, five, four years, pretty much. You know, the, the great thing about the brand is the, the market has really taken hold of, it, especially markets like Miami that have done very, very well with this car. It's, um, we sold 170,000 almost uh, Fiat's uh, in North America. No, oh, I thought in Miami. <laughs> no, I wish. Yeah, great. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, the, this this market has really embraced the brand, yeah. and it's it's been great to see. And we sold 50,000 cars the second full year that we were in the marketplace, which most manufacturers that launched in the last you know 10, 20 years, it's taken five to seven years to do that. So the market's embraced us. We we think we have a great product offering. It's unique and different, and it's resonating well with the with the. Uh, US market. That's that's what they say in the, in this industry and in any industry. Like product really like, delivers the results. I mean, if you have the product, things are gonna be good. No, exactly. And you know, you look at the 500 lineup. We continue to expand that. The changes that we mentioned today on the 500L. You know, adding a six-speed Eisen transmission. That there's customers that just want to have a torque converter. We change some suspension, some seats. So not only do we think we bring great product, but we listen to the customers and say, what can we do it better? And then we also try to give them. A whole bunch of personal personalization options that give them the option to have a car that more reflects them. And again, like going back to only four or five years, I mean, that's like really a short time in the auto industry because that's more or less the time of a uh, life cycle of one vehicle. And you have done like how many in just this time? No, exactly. And that's that's been the uh, challenge and also the uh, the great experience of being on this brand as we've reintroduced it. We've had to push very hard because it is a very competitive market. Um, but I think that you, if you have something unique and different, people will seek you out. And I think the numbers kind of speak for themselves. When you start, we already sold... Um, almost 40,000 cars this year, 50,000 in North America. So you add a couple more months to it, we're going to have a record year for the Fiat brand. And again, it's just year after year after year, it continues to grow. So let's uh, go back a little bit. Like the 500 in 2011, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Avart or the, the, the Cabrio, what, what came, what's the order more or less of the products that you have launched? So we launched the 500 uh, hatchback, then the 500C Cabrio, then we launched the Avart, hatch and then we uh, had launched the turbo and the abart cabrio and then most recently again that whole concept of just expanding the lineup we came out with the six speed eisen in the uh, abart which is not just us taking an eisen and putting it into that car it's been specifically engineered for the uh, abart so you put it in sport mode and it actually acts like you, you are feel driving the difference, a manual. Yeah. yeah it does you know fuel cutoff upshifts it, it has a different uh, uh, shifting pattern gear um gear holds, things that you would notice if you were driving a manual, how the car would perform. We've engineered it into the transmission. So these special edition uh, models that you, the, the two that you launched here, is it a part of a strategy that I think it's been pretty smart because like some other cars uh, that are very popular, like there's a lot of them and they all look the same. So yeah. no, you have like unique, specific cars and limited editions of these so they make it really attractive for the consumers yeah and it goes after a different customer our gucci is going after something different than cab the uh um, the 1957 and our rebella we launched today is going after something different than the cativa you know these the gq is also launched in the market they're they're going after unique customers not just putting the same thing in a different format but yeah. really diversifying the number of people that would want to come and shop and buy your car And these are cars that you make for a limited time and like limited quantities and like nobody can have it. Like so, that's another claim of a, yeah. a, a cool thing of having a Fiat, right? No, exactly. I mean, like the, the Rebelli will be in, in uh, production for four or five months, and then we'll stop um, building it. You know, the the 1957 I think will have a little bit of uh, longevity in the brand because it really does speak to the rich heritage of the Fiat brand. Yeah. Um, but there's there's a lot of the things that we've done that are in and out of the marketplace. To again, once you own it, you'll be one of however many we've produced, and then we probably won't produce it again. So um, 
the new consumers, like the, the younger generation of, of, of drivers and consumers, I mean, they pretty much didn't know about like Fiat because 26 years out of this market, it's a long, long time. So people who are like around that time buying their first car ever, I mean, this is like, wow, like something new for them, right? Yeah, you know, being in the industry, I mean, you know how it is. I mean, we, we give the consumers a lot of credit for, you know, staying up on all the automotive, but unless you're shopping a car, yeah. you probably aren't there. So you have people that are just now starting to shop you know, the various vehicles they want and realizing there's another manufacturer in the marketplace. So it was a great opportunity for us because we were able to tell them and show them the products that we have to offer today and then offer all these different personalization options that will make it appeal to them. It's been it's been very fun and exciting to try to, you know, reach a market that really didn't even know you existed. And pretty smart advertising, too, I have to say. I mean, that has been key, I, I'm sure, right? Right after product is advertising. Yeah. So uh, I think, you know, great advertising drives traffic and great product makes you sell cars. And I think we have a, a great um, uh, opportunity to, to position our brand. And our, our chief marketing officer, Olivia Francois, has done a great job with the messaging. And then I think our product speaks for itself. So it's been uh, it's been a great combination so far. Absolutely. Well, Matt, thank you very much again for uh, uh, spending time with us. And uh Hope to see you soon. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be more news from Fiat uh, coming out soon. Very soon. Very soon. More news from us. But I appreciate your time. Thank you, man. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.